Hi everyone, this is a Vel'Koz guide. Now Vel'Koz, the Eye of the Void, is a really interesting champion. He was released in February of 2014 and he's a magic damage mage that typically goes down the mid lane. He excels at long range harass and dealing massive amounts of damage over sustained fights. To start off, allow me to run through his abilities and how to use them. Vel'Koz's passive is called Organic Deconstruction. What it does is that each time he hits an enemy with an ability, they get a stack. At three stacks, a small amount of true damage is dealt to them. This passive is an extremely important component to doing well with Vel'Koz. Truthfully, the ability power scalings and his other abilities are average at best. So your best bet at dealing the maximum possible amount of damage is to land your abilities in succession to successfully get that true damage off from his passive. Vel'Koz's Q is called Plasma Fission. Vel'Koz shoots out a linear skill shot that also applies a slow. The interesting part, however, is that after he shoots it, if it hits an enemy, he activates it again, or he just lets it go to max range, it then diverges into two perpendicular shots that fly in opposite directions. This is a really unique ability and I recommend maxing it first in order to fully utilize the potential of this champion. Vel'Koz's W is Void Rift. Nothing too special here, just a linear skill shot that deals damage, and after a short pause, deals damage once again in the same area. This ability relies on a charge system with a maximum of two charges being started at a time, so you can cast it twice. It's important to note that the initial cast and the second detonation of this ability both apply a stack of Vel'Koz's passive. This makes this ability really useful for applying more stacks of Vel'Koz's passive, as well as for easily clearing waves. I would recommend maxing this ability second. Vel'Koz's E is Tectonic Disruption. It targets a small circle-shaped area and slightly knocks every enemy back in said area. Fairly simple ability with some decent CC. And finally, Vel'Koz's ultimate is Lifeform Disintegration Ray. The way this ability works is that Vel'Koz roots himself while firing a continuous laser beam which he can slightly aim for a total of 2.5 seconds. Every half second, this ability applies an extra stack of Vel'Koz's passive and applies a small slow for one second. This ability has the potential to deal some major damage if used properly. However, positioning is extremely important. If you use this ability in a bad position, you will easily be CC'd, your ult will be cancelled, and due to Vel'Koz's lack of mobility, you will most likely be killed. When playing Vel'Koz, there are a couple things to keep in mind. You have to understand that while Vel'Koz is great for long-range poke and burst damage, his lack of mobility is a glaring weakness. Because of this, Flash is almost always a necessary spell to take and is very important to place many wards in order to prevent being killed from a gank. Also due to Vel'Koz's vulnerability to champions with gap closers, I like to take Heal or Barrier as my other summoner spell. In lane, use Vel'Koz's Q to poke down your enemy from afar. The second cast can be pretty disorienting for them and can be used to slowly whittle down your enemy's health. While it's best to lead in with your Q because of the slow, another really good combo is to use your E while simultaneously casting your W. The short cast time and the knockback from your E makes it so that you can easily utilize the damage from both the initial cast and the second detonation of your W, and apply three stacks of Vel'Koz's passive, thus chunking a lot of the enemy's health. Once you hit level 6, your ult is a really good finishing move. Keep in mind that Vel'Koz's ult has the potential to apply five stacks of his passive, so if you lead with an ability and then use your ult, you can apply a total of six stacks of Vel'Koz's passive and apply the true damage twice, dealing a massive amount of damage with just two abilities. In a team fight, Vel'Koz should stay in the back line and provide constant damage in CC. Along with his basic abilities, his ultimate is an extremely powerful tool and can completely turn a fight around if used properly. However, I do have to reiterate that positioning is key, because if you use it in a bad position, you will likely be CC'd and your ultimate will be cancelled. It's a good idea to use this ability from a range and possibly over a wall. Another strength of Vel'Koz is his ability to kite. The slow from his Q and the knockback from his E makes cutting away from enemies pretty easy. These abilities combine with his W can continuously apply Vel'Koz's passive true damage while he kites. In order to kite even better, Rylai's Crystal Scepter is a decent item to buy due to the slow from its passive. For Mastery, as I like to put 12 in the Ferocity Tree and 18 in the Cunning Tree, getting Thunderlord's Decree as my Keystone Mastery. For Runes, I like to take some Ability Power, some Magic Penetration, some Armor, and Scaling Cooldown Reduction. And as far as build paths go, it's pretty standard, just the regular Mage items, Death Cap, Ludens, Zhonya's, Void Staff, Rylai's, etc. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say about Vel'Koz. To reiterate, just remember, long range poke and burst, utilize your passive a lot, lead in with the abilities that apply CC, maintain good positioning while you ult, and be mindful of your lack of mobility. I hope this guide helps you a lot, and if it did, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe, it really does help me out. Thank you, and see you next time.